there are two questions that will pop into your head when you talk about 4G architecture. The first being, what exactly is the architecture that 4G technology will be based on? And the second, what will be the skeleton that will best optimize 4G? Or what is the architecture that will be best suited for 4G? In order to answer these two questions, we need to dive into the proverbial garbage bin, rummage through it and come up with what is the absolute essential in this case. And the absolute essential is IMS, stands for IP Multimedia Subsystem. Now there are a lot of acronyms to be learned when we are talking about communication technology, so you need to bear with me. IMS is the backbone of 4G medium of convergence and it's nothing scary you must be cursing me right now I did say nothing scary but as you see I have labeled it the frustratingly complex IMS architecture allow me to make it simpler for you now, I've always found it easy to study whenever I'm thinking of food I don't know why this is a very weird technique but then I like to assign food names to different elements in telecom architecture so that I understand it better. So making it easier, imagine the elements that will now randomly pop up on your screen to be um, pieces of candy or maybe paneer cubes, um, weird, uh, <laughs> let's just go into the gist of it. The first layer is called the transport layer. The transport layer basically is, wait a minute, the SGSN hmm, stands for Service GPR Support Node. Coming up is the GGSN Gateway GPRS Support Node. MGW, PGW, PDG, RAN, IPv6. Now, how do all of these make sense? And how am I going to make you understand what each of these do? It's very simple. Imagine your old age telephone lines or your landline phones. Those were based on a protocol called SS7, Signaling System 7. So the transport layer basically consists of all those telecom systems that are basically legacy networks. Legacy networks can be GSM, CDMA, PLMN or PSDN. Now the SGSN and the GGSN are two very very important elements. The SGSN and GGSN are responsible for generating and creating a dynamic pool of IPs. Why are IPs important? We'll look at this further. The media gateway and the border gateway, that is the MGW and the BGW are responsible for sharing media across layers. You'll notice that if two cubes of paneer or candy have similar color it means they are both performing similar type of functions but in different fields. The PDG stands for the policy decision group and the RAN stands for radio access node. The PDG basically defines a set of protocols and rules that will be used for sharing media across platforms and layers while the RAN, the radio access node is something that will help link up the transport layer to the subsequent layers about to come. Now the mode of addressing used for this purpose is IPv6. Now if you remember, IPv4 addresses were exhausted in December 2011 because if you know that IPv4 had like four fields, that